This is the Samsung Galaxy Tab S8 Ultra. It's a huge tablet, it has a screen of 14.6 inches. This, my friends, it's sheet music. This is actually Hello by Lionel Richie. So sheet music on paper, mm, maybe, maybe not. Sheet music on the Galaxy Tab S8 Ultra, maybe, maybe not. Stick around to find out. Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. My name is Marcus and this is Tech and Cars. So as you saw in the intro, today we're going to take a look at the Galaxy Tab S8 Ultra. It's a tablet with 14.6 inch display. It's actually a huge display and it's probably one of the best tablets in 2022. So I'm not going to do a regular review on this. There are just too many reviews online. Today we're going to take a look at the Tab S8 and how it can handle sheet music for those of you that are interested in music. Maybe playing piano, guitar, singing, something else. So there is an app that I have already installed on this. It's from a company called Supersoft and it's an app that is really uh, not super complex but you can do a lot of things within the app. So we're going to take a short look at the app. I'm going to show you the basics. We're also going to hook this up to a Korg keyboard, a Korg PA1000. It's a professional arranger, really nice keyboard, 61 keys, awesome rhythms, awesome sounds. And we're going to connect this via USB, so you're going to see how we can synchronize the app with the songbook in the PA1000. So there is a songbook in the keyboard where you can configure songs with different instruments and rhythms and you can actually give them an ID. And you can connect the ID number to the ID in the sheet music app. So before connecting this to the keyboard, let's take a look at the app. So here we have the Galaxy Tab S8 Ultra and the screen is huge, it's, it's 14.6 inches. So I think this would actually be really good for sheet music. It's kind of alone in its segment. You have the big iPad Pro which is 12 point something inches I think. And that's basically more common using uh, when using sheet music in a digital way. So we have the app called Mobile Sheets Free and it's from Supersoft and this is the free version and you can purchase the real version with all the functionality within it. So let's go ahead and start the app. Here you can see I have the sheet music by Lionel Richie Hello. So this is my place of sheet music. To be honest I haven't downloaded that many songs into the app. I started with one to explore its functionality. So you can import way more. You can have your entire sheet music collection in this. You can store the sheet music on an SD card for example. Uh, so let's take a look here. So this is the imported sheet music. I got this as a PDF and I downloaded it onto the tablet and I imported it into the Sheet Music app using the import. And here you can see the landscape mode. So you can actually use this in landscape. We're going to connect this later on to the keyboard and we're going to use it in portrait mode, which is a more natural way of course for using sheet music. Within the sheet, sheet music you can see I made some circles with different colors. I do hope you can see them on the camera. And that means that when I get... Now I'm on the second page here on the sheet music. And here I'm on the third page. And here we have a repetition. So within the app you can actually put 
different markers here so that you can easily point at that and you get back to the start and then you go once more and until the third page and there is another one of course for the third verse and then you finish off playing until the end so that's basically the the most basic function of the app when looking at sheet music and you can do much more by pointing on the screen choosing different things we're going to look at this in portrait mode as well and as I said the program is full of features so here you can see different settings for whatever you like and there is actually a touch and pedal setting as well so I'm quickly going to show you the iRig Blue Turn that you can use together with your keyboard and the Tab S8 and the Mobile Sheets app. You can uh, set up MIDI settings and that's actually the type of communication this communicates with for the Korg keyboard. So it communicates via MIDI through a USB cable to the keyboard. There are just plenty of settings within the app. Storage settings, library settings, formatting settings, how sheet music should be displayed and so on. How it will handle the import of the PDFs. Yeah. And much more. So let's turn this around and look in portrait mode what the sheet music looks like. So here we have it in portrait mode and it's much more natural using this in portrait mode at the piano or at the keyboard. So here we have hello again and you can see it looks way more natural. And uh, since this has an aspect ratio of 16 by 10 you get a black area down here. But some of the commands you can use could actually be down here instead. I'm looking for a special... Ah, there it is. So when you point at the sheet music you get some settings down here. And the thing I told you about links, you can actually make links here with the different colors for the dots so you can use this for repetition and so on and you can also configure the pedal so when you push next page on the pedal it will actually follow the links as well so it's quite easy when you have this at your keyboard using a iRig blue turn pedal and the blue turn pedal is of course bluetooth it connects to the tablet in just the same way as a pair of headphones or anything else connects via Bluetooth. As you can see, it's snappy. So it, this is really fast. I think it's the tablet itself because it's state of the art technology and it was released this year and it's probably one of the best tablets this year in 2022. So there will not be time to go through all the different settings you can do within the app. So basically, if you have a big Android tablet, download the app, play around with the settings and get some sheet music in there. You don't need to build a huge library, just get a few songs in there and try out the app to the fullest. Yeah, so now you know what it looks like on the Galaxy Tab S8 Ultra. So the next thing is actually to connect this to the keyboard. I'm going to show you 
how this operates together with the Korg PA1000. So here I have the Galaxy S8 Ultra tablet connected to the Korg PA1000. So as we saw before I have a song that is Hello by Lionel Richie. If I press this it opens up the song and it actually selects the songbook entry that I have here that is called Hello. So Hello here is a special rhythm, special setup with instruments, effects and everything. So that's an easy way. I could pick it in my library and it will directly pick it here in the Korg songbook. So let's exit this and just pick another song here and go back here. So he now we're back in the start where you have all your songs in your library. Now we go to the keyboard in the songbook and we pick hello. So when you pick hello in the songbook it will actually launch the sheet music in the tablet. So it, a really easy way to get yourself structured with your songs, your rhythms and so on when using this together with a keyboard. And as I mentioned before this communicates via MIDI so it will send commands back and forth and if we go into the write mode here in the songbook you can see I have number one here which corresponds to number one in the library. So let's go into the song and see. Here you have something that is called song ID and it, that's one and this is one. So it's really easy to get this going. You also need to look at the MIDI settings in the app and in the keyboard of course so that you have a correct MIDI device configured. In this case it's Korg. It could be a Yamaha keyboard instead. You have a Genos there as well. And you have a MIDI and MIDI send and MIDI receive channel and you should put 16 there. And within the keyboard you have something that is called global settings. And you can actually, let's go back, I'll show you the start of the menu in global settings. You have this MIDI, you have MIDI pre presets here, so you can actually choose tablet. And here you have MIDI channel 16, the one I was talking about up here. So channel 16 is configured as control, both in and out. So that, that is what you need to set up to get this flow between the keyboard and the Galaxy S8 Ultra. So once again, songbook, we pick hello, it starts the sheet music. And I also told you about this, this is the iRig Blue Turn, it's a pedal that you have on on the floor so with your feet you can go to the next page and so on. So let's turn this off. It has already been paired with the Samsung Galaxy S8 Ultra. As you can see here on the blue light it's constant so you can actually start of song, press this one it's for my right feet, so I get to the next page. And then you have these dots here with different colors, and that is repetition. It goes to the first one, once more, and then the second one. And then I can just play the song until the end. Really good investment, because you don't want to remove your hands from the keyboard just to change page. So I highly recommend getting a pedal that you use with your keyboard and your tablet. So that my friends were that was basically the 
introduction to the Mobile Sheets app and how you can use it, for example, together with a Korg PA1000. So now you know what it looks like using the Samsung Galaxy S8 Ultra tablet together with the Korg PA1000. And you also know what sheet music looks like on the S8 Ultra. Since the screen is huge, 14.6 inches, this can actually be very useful. A smaller Android tablet will probably, depends on your eyes of course, but I think something smaller than this is a bit too small. So this is a A4 paper and this is the tablet. So you can see it's a little bit smaller on the tablet, however it's so clear, so I basically don't need paper anymore. I can use the S8 Ultra tab for sheet music. And the software that was made by Supersoft, I will put a link to them in the description. They have a homepage, so you can go online and you can read the manual for the software. And you'll find this in the Google Play Store, of course. So you can get the free version or you can purchase the full version. So I can highly recommend this program. It's probably one of the best for Android. So bye bye paper. I also recommend using the iRig Blue Turn. It's a no brainer. I just go ahead and buy it for your uh, tab and your keyboard when playing music. Yeah, that was this video and I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like, share and subscribe and keep on playing. See you in the next one guys, take care.